We just dodged a bullet, but there's probably more in the chamber. And my husband's gonna laugh that Patty the pacifist just gave a gun reference. <laughs> uh, probably am me up in Facebook jail, but whatevs. Hey, I'm Dr. Patty Barch. I'm a traditional naturopath, founder and owner of Naturally Unbridled Wellness and NaturallyUnbridled.com, where we focus on wellness solutions, not disease management. This is Down the Ridge with Dr. Patty, where I give you about 10 minutes of holistic life and wellness information on my way to work. It's not medical advice. It's for entertainment purposes only. Nothing I say is true. Don't listen to me. So what am I talking about when I say we dodged a bullet? Well, I'm going to say all the words today. Like if I end up having to go to Facebook jail for a little while, I'll just, you know, sit back, kick up my hand. Oh, look at this. Two cars today. That's crazy. Um, you know, I'll just take a chill and relax if I end up, you know, in detention. Anyway, I, you know, I, I feel like I should have put out a video about this before, but it, I always try to strike the balance of what can I put out there that's inf like interesting, informational, and mostly helpful versus what am I allowed to say? I can't even believe like that this is the state that we're in, but yeah. But anyway, the World Health Organization, I'm gonna talk about them today and a few things that I didn't know about them until I did a deeper dive in the past few years. Um, but my original place in my brain where the World Health Organization lived was basically in the same place that the United Nations lives or NATO lives, right? Like I just had it in my compartment in my brain that this was just a government organization that this particular branch, so to speak, was focused on health. <clears throat> That's what they want you to think. So about 80% of the funding for the World Health Organization comes from private industry and private donors. <clears throat> Excuse me. Only about 20% of it comes from government funding, which is like just a budget line item, right? The people who work for the World Health Organization, more traffic today, this is crazy. Um, these people are not elected officials. They're just hired. They're just hired. Um, and why am I talking about this today? Well, because the World Health Organization had put together a contract, so to speak, um, that they wanted the world nations to sign. And they were very deceptive in how they wrote this, um, this document. And it was very much about, okay, if there's a pandemic, we're in charge of everything until that we determine that the pandemic is over. We also get to determine what defines a pandemic. And so it was considered, it was considered binding so that if, if a country signed it and then they're like, no, you can't mandate that on our citizens. I don't know who would be would be enforcing it. Like that's not clear because clearly WHO doesn't have an army. Um, but it was considered enforceable. So the part of the deception as, um, elected officials started pushing back on the threat to their power, um, the World Health Organization did some things like change the name of the document multiple times so that searching for it online became more difficult. So you couldn't really find their initial or early versions that had the main power grab in there. Um, over time, it became the, um, the WHO, uh, maybe global pandemic treaty might be what it was called. Um, and it, like, there were some, there were some politicians in the United States, in the Senate and in the House who caught wind of what was going on in this thing and started to go, well, slow your roll here. Um, but more so, 
there were some members of European Parliament who were like, oh, hell no. Like, you have got to pay attention to what is in this document and um, how it could basically usurp the voters. That, um, you know, voters elected these specific officials. <laughs> we'll talk about validity of elections in another video. Um, but, you know, it's basically like, okay, who the people voted for are no longer in charge. These people at the World Health Organization that are funded by private industry that are hired, for, you know, for whatever reason, um, they're now in charge of the world. And the thing was, is they, the language was very broad in that they could determine what a pandemic was. So a pandemic could be, um, the weather <laughs> situation. And so they could say as part of their um, global pandemic treaty that nobody's allowed to use electricity, you know, between this hour and this hour because we're trying to save the planet. I mean, this is what was within the scope of this document. And there were some um, whistleblower type people within governments and outside of governments who really made a concerted effort to let people know that this document was really concerning um, and that it should not be signed. It should be voted down. And dodging the bullet means that it went to a vote um, within the few, past few days and it did not pass. <sighs> However, <laughs> they're just reloading. They're gonna come back. So, you know, pay attention to this stuff. <laughs> you're not gonna get this news on CNN and MSNBC and even Fox. Like, you're not gonna get that type of news there, right? Because the people who are investing in the World Health Organization also own the networks and the newspapers. So, really, to get these types of stories, you've got to go to podcasts. Um, and independent news outlets like Epic Times. Uh, so anyway, I I feel like mm, maybe a little ashamed. I mean, I don't hold on to that, but I feel like I should have done a better job educating people about this before it went to a vote. I did post some stuff on um, Facebook where you could, hmm, hawk, cool, where you could sign a treaty, um, I mean, sign a petition to, you know, that would go to the government's, wow, that, there's like a sharp shinned hawk flying around there, it's pretty cool. Um, you could sign the petition to get the government to like veto this or whatever, and um, thankfully it did not pass. So we can just take a deep breath today, but we cannot lose focus on the fact that, you know, people are trying to gain control of the, of the citizens of the countries without going through elections or anything like that. I mean, that, I know it sounds crazy. I know it does, but, um, like this literally just happened. Um, the dark horse podcast with, um, Brett and Heather, uh, they just did a really nice episode on it. Um, so if you want to check out that and dig deeper, uh, check out the Dark Horse podcast and um, look for the one with the WHO in the title. All right. Peace out, peeps. Have a healthy day.